all right guys so you're welcome once again so please you could see that i am i have taken my time yes i have taken my time this is because i don't want to rush okay i know some of us we are uh, maybe designers already but i want to perfect it so it is it is just a matter of me getting so when we start going advanced that is where maybe i can go fast and a little bit so i've taken my time for the beginners those of us who don't know any idea about maybe design we will have a feel of it okay so we are done with everything i can even lock the text okay i can lock it as well so that it will prevent me from i mean not moving so what is left is for us to bring maybe the church icon the church the church social media icon so you go and select t on the keyboard or you come and select your i mean and then um we are not using um bold you can use bold though but i am not using bold. i'm using regular and then i'm going in for font like 10. okay so i want the church logo to be here so i write something like church um, logo here okay so you can put the church logo there all right can put the church logo here only the logo you can just put it here yes just put the church logo there if your church have one you can just put it here press ctrl a then i will center it okay it's already centered so the church logo should be here all right should be on top of all of this ctrl j copy it bring it down here or here yes and then double click it and then write hashtag um, read read your bible hashtag read your bible all right hashtag read your bible let me reduce the font pick somewhere says yes i think this is okay let me see if it's at the center if i'm not sure yes this is at the center okay yes this is at the center bring it down a little bit then what i'll do is that i'll change the color and pick i'll not pick any color here i'll come to my work and pick the various color okay all right the bow i mean the the regular is too much for me so i'll pick um let's say 10 okay yes i'll pick 10 i think 10 is okay for me all right then i will s copy it again all right and then i'll put maybe the church social media icons here all right so let, before i do the changes let me change the color pick this white all right then i don't know the name of the church actually but um, let me say fun it or something okay fun it prayer i don't know how it is fun it prayer network if i'm wrong please you can correct me for that prayer uh, maybe network or something okay all right i think i think this is okay okay then this time around i'll pick um regular then reduce the font to somewhere like five i want the font, the font to be small okay then um i'll copy this again all right then double click it and then pick f press f okay the f means because we are using social media circles okay we are using social media icons you can download social media icons from the internet though but i am giving you a font that is called social media circles so we type in social um circles we are using um we are using this social circles this one okay social circles regular click on it I mean we don't have we don't see it so we can zoom in uh, zoom in and then press go down okay bring it here i think it's too small the size is too small so let's pick six still is so small let's pick eight uh-huh i think this is okay all right so this is for facebook uh, let me pick my text tool f is for facebook t is for twitter i is for instagram yeah something like this maybe <laughs> uh, all right so let's let's i mean that's that's it okay and then press ctrl 
minus means zoom out control plus means zoom in control zero means if you want a full screen like this but i want to zoom out okay so that um i can position my everything here let's position it here okay all right make sure it is aligned so if you want to align the fanit prayer network to the social media icon just click the select the fti and then select the, this one and then you come and use this the middle one here not here if you use this you are going to get something like this no we don't want it we want to use something like this Control z if you press Control z it means undo Control z undo so we are going to use this so that i'll align everything here okay so i think um i think everything is at the center here right good it's at the center i like this Control o everything is here so please you can i don't know the name the logo of the church so you can put your church logo somewhere here let me bold in it all right you can put um, the the church logo somewhere here okay you can put it here all right i don't know how you want it just put your church logo there and then you are good to go you are good to go all right all right that is it that is it okay so this is our design so let's let's look at one more thing then i will save my work so realize that i have been able to group all of these okay so if you want to unlock the text you can just unlock it and then add the social media icon the prayer network the read your bible and then the church logo okay you can even select them select this control then you select everything here and then come and add it or you leave it like that i mean you can leave it so that in my layer side if i don't group them i'll get a lot of layers all here all right so let's look at one more thing then we are done i want us to brighten the design okay so brighten the design so you not select anything here in your layer side come to your um your your layer panel down here on your layer side down here there is this i could call it adjustment layer click on it you are going to see this um these options go in for caves go in for what caves Pre press on caves then you are going to have something like a cave then you brighten if you do this it means it's too much for me all right i want to just brighten the work if you do go down to is dark all right so i i want to brighten it small so that um, so when you are brightening it just open your eyes and see okay i think this is okay all right then you press go it is okay so when you are done and you want to save your work and send it for maybe um, for checkup you press Control shift and then s you do you hear that or you come to file and then go to save as which is Control shift and then s for shortcut or you come here file and then you look for save as okay all right then when you bring it because we named our design already so the name is already there so you change the type okay the save as type you click on this thing and then you select jpeg okay i told you that we need jpeg this one select on it and then you have said i don't want to save it to where the icon say let's go back okay let's go back yes i want to save it here all right then save it or save now this is going to pop up make sure that the quality is 12 make sure it is on baseline standard okay so when everything is okay press okay it means you have saved okay so let's go back to our folder and let's see all right let's see so this is it this is our design all right so let's open it and see how beautiful our design look like all right very good absolutely amazing it looks so beautiful so please try it they said practice makes a man perfect practice it and then you are good to go all right please don't forget that you will practice 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 try your best if you have any question don't hesitate to ask me thank you and let me see you in our next assignment bye